Okay, so someone wants me to prove that it's 100% uh, open source. How can it be so much in such a little thing? Okay, so let's go to my downloads directory. What do we have? Let's delete all this. Delete. 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 Let's go down here. Empty. Okay. So in my downloads directory is nothing. Now I go to downloads. This is my website, templeos.org. Go to downloads. Then go to ultra small distro, 1.9 meg. Save. Okay, it's done. Now we uh, go to my downloads directory, ultra ISO. Now we go into new VMware. You can use QEMU, but whichever one. It, the critical thing is with VirtualBox, you need more than 64 meg. You need 512 meg. With QEMU, you have to boot the ISO with the CD-ROM. I give some scripts uh, that, exp that will help you figure out QEMU. Okay, so we do typical in VMware. VMware is about five times faster disk than QEMU. I don't know about VirtualBox. I, I don't think it's... Anyway, we go to Downloads, Temp, Ultra. You can do this on your own system. Other 64-bit, we call this Ultra. And this doesn't matter. Customize hardware. We want processors, eight cores, memory. It has to be above 512. We're, I'll go ahead and kick it up to 5 gig. We can get rid of. We can get rid of sound card. It's it's PC speaker. Watch this. I'm going to get rid of the network. Okay. Do this on your own system. Now uh, finish. So a white man operating system has an install script. If you're inside of VMware, if you're on a native system, it's different. Inside of VMware or Q, if you're inside a virtual machine, just hit YYY. Oops. Yes, install. Yes, virtual machine and hit any key. So I, I do YYY. And then it's going to install. It's going to make an identical copy of the 2 meg onto the C and onto the D. Um, it's not 2 meg anymore. It's bigger. A little bit bigger. Is it? No, it's. I bet it's about the same size as a matter of fact. I bet it's about 2 meg. It doesn't uncompress anything. They, they stay compressed. Reboot, yes. Okay, this is my bootloader. It's not grub. That saves a lot of meg. Okay, now I hit control M. And here's my flight simulator. The ultra small doesn't have all the demos. And now you know what we're gonna do? We are going to get rid of all binaries. So find file slash star bin star. These are all the binaries. So I'm going to hit, there's kernel.bin and compiler.bin. The other ones, uh, okay. Control Alt Tab, Alt Shift A, Control D. Okay, so we're going to go kernel.bin, we're going to delete. Um, how do you delete it? Uh, delete? I don't think that, yeah, okay. Okay, we delete kernel.bin. We go to compiler. We delete compiler.bin and we go to the boot. Okay, this is for the CD ROM that you're, if you create a CD ROM ISO, you make another kernel. Um, this is the old, this is stage two of the bootloader. We want to keep that, it's tiny. This is uh, the old master boot record. We can get rid of that. Um, as a matter of fact, if you have grub, then uh, 
Okay, so I completely uh, hosed this. Uh, this this drive is no, it's not. It's uh, as a matter of fact, at this very moment, the bootloader has the block address of kernel dot bin, and it has not been overwritten. So if we wanted to, if we wanted to to do a proof, well anyway, I'll just say make make OS drive boot install. Oh, first let's do find file binaries. There's bootloader mask. That's one block. Okay, so we got rid of all the binaries. There are no object files. There's no executable files. There's just source code and in, in these binaries. So now let's uh, make OS in, install. So it's 100% open source. It fits on 2 meg. I wrote a compiler. Okay, you say C. Okay, here you type C. And this is C and D. So C, probe. And we want number one. You're going to, that's a hard drive. Hit enter for the rest of these. Enter, enter, enter. Okay, now if we do find file, slash star bin, star. What we did is we recreated kernel and compiler.bin. And uh, it the, the reason we have to, there's a, I, just to be friendly, I, I called something make all. What does make all do? Make all compiles kernel and compiler. You have no business making binary files because these are the only two that are supposed to exist. I used to plan for you to make binaries, but um, there's no reason for you to use binaries, and so why should you? Okay, so now we can reboot. Number one. Okay, now the way we can tell that I recompiled the kernel is that if I do a drive report, there is no RAM disk and there is no CD-ROM. So um, I recompile. Now let's boot the. Uh, let's reboot, and I'm going to press two for the. D is a complete. Oh, I should have got rid of all those too. Oh well. I'll let you I'll leave that as an exercise. Okay, so this has other um, drives. That's because I was more careful when I made the uh, kernel to include. Um, I, I didn't feel like making those. Okay, what you can do if you want. This is the coolest thing. Okay, go to your home directory. Oh, it's not here. Never mind. I was going to set you up with my files. If you go to the demo directory, if you say copy, do this on your demo. Type this command and copy demo account example slash star to home. And that will set you up with my files. And uh, you, then you want to do reboot. So do that as a command on, on the full distribution. We're, we're on the ultra small, so we don't have that. Anyway, so what do you want to see? You want to, what else can we do? You want to go look at the kernel code? It's in here. The kernel code is on this distro. I didn't switch machines or anything. This, this is all here. We can do a line report. Line rep. Is that utility? Yeah, it's, it's not here. Okay, so at this point we have compiler. We have kernel. We have... We can make a distro. You want to do that? Why don't we do that? We're making, a, we're making an ISO file. So this is... You know how life can reproduce? We can reproduce... At this stage, if we hit Control D, we made a ISO file called My Distro. Now we can export that. Let's go ahead and shut down. Let's do File Mount Virtual Disk.
it's alive you can make your own distros I made an ISO file creator I made I'm the best programmer on earth that's why God chose me and he gave me divine intellect so anyway this is divine intellect isn't it obvious okay oh okay uh, as a matter of fact select the directory this is a mount point this makes me very nervous for obvious reasons I don't want to mess up my master it's okay I know what I'm doing I have script files that do this normally we have two partitions uh oh okay we've got two part is that two partitions or one okay we want the first partition so mount that looked like one partition I don't know why okay now we go to my computer mount VM disk is locked that's not good my distro there it is now we copy I don't know if this is gonna work I hate permissions oh it's it's fat 32 no permissions so copy and let's go to uh, downloads paste okay now we are going this is gonna blow your mind okay so close let's file not virtual disk we're going to uh, unmount this puppy okay close now we're going to destroy this manage delete from disk now we are going to create new virtual machine typical it's a hundred percent alive it, it will make identical copy or this is this is going to have a slight difference the home directory is going to be different because it will back up your files so it's going to have a registry maybe okay what are we doing we have to select the tag downloads my distro 2 meg next now we'll call this my distro it's going to make a new directory It has to be above 512. Oh, we didn't do God. We have to, we have to, oh, we don't have the uh, word. Do we have the words? We, I don't know if we have the words. Uh, we might not have the words. I think I splurged and put the words on there. Okay, so sound card, no, remove the sound card, remove the network card. Let's see if we have God. It might not have any words. Oh, we have to install now remember this is a this is a copy of a copy <laughs> so I have an ISO creation tool I have a compiler I have a disk a file manager that's kind of this file manager is a death trap basically I'm the best programmer on earth chosen by God and it's I was endowed with divine intellect as self-evident by what we have okay so uh, F7 oh we don't have any words okay let's go ahead and import some words um, now oh well we can okay so we can go so you can make your own kernel if you wanted to modify the kernel to do something like for example uh, at the end just to show you that we have the kernel 
Okay, this is the end of the kernel before it starts the compiler. Let's beep, beep, beep. So it loads the compiler. Do, do we want to modify the kernel, I guess? Let's go beep, beep. Okay, so we beep three times and print woo. Okay, so we say make OS drive C. And we hit C, C, probe. And then hard disk number four. Carriage turn, carriage turn, carriage turn. And we say reboot. Watch this. When it boots number one. We modified the fucking kernel and compiled it. Okay. So, uh, you don't have to, if you want to just modify the scripts, um, well, it's, it's indistinguishable. Um, CD dot dot directory. This gets compiled during boot. And so we can say, um, after at this point we have music so we can say play CD CD E D C now we reboot print okay so um, I'm the best programmer on earth as evident by divine intellect and fuck you Let's go talk to God How about that. Now, what did I do that I have to undo? Do I have to undo anything? Did I? I hope this mounts and stuff. Everything should be okay. Okay, so let's go talk to God on the website. The website that has God talking. Okay.